Hey guys, what's up? This is Owen, or Squishy, and today I'm giving you guys the long-awaited tutorial that, well, yeah, it has really been long-awaited, and that is the how to change your Minecraft skin without buying the game updated tutorial for uh, the version of Minecraft that is 1.8. So, uh, but first, before we get into it, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 250 subscribers, and I think as of recording now, we are on something like 285, which is incredible. I mean, the la the past 150 subscribers, whatever, when I did my texture pack release, which I have updated again, so I may have to update that video, but still. But we were on something like 70 subscribers, and then I did that speed up where we were on like 150. And now we've nearly reached 300, guys. And it just means so much that I have you guys watching my videos, watching my tutorials. I'm hoping that I'm teaching you guys a few things. And, um... It's just incredible, and it means a lot to know that I have you, your guys' support and that you want to watch my content. But anyway, I think that's enough chattering. Uh, I want to get into some of the problems that you guys seem to have. Now, the re main reason I'm making this tutorial is that quite a few of you were saying that this the, the past tutorials weren't working for 1.8, and that's because there was a new skin format but, uh, that Minecraft, or Mojang, sorry, introduced in order to have the separate arms and separate legs. So that's one of the reasons. Um, another question was, does it work on multiplayer? Now, it does not work on multiplayer if you are playing on a uh, a cracked version of the game. The only way that other people would be able to see your skin would mean that they would have to have the same texture pack as you, as well as the, um, like the same skin in that texture pack, which I can show you. Another question was, do you have to use that texture pack? That I used and know that I was just only using that texture pack as an example and I will be using that texture pack again but any texture pack should work and I will explain some other steps later on in the video for if some files are say missing so yeah I think that was pretty much it about the uh, questions we had so let's jump right on in with the tutorial so first you want to go up to your web browser and you want to get WinRAR uh, most Minecraft users that I know of have WinRAR already as uh, the .RAR format is widely used for uh, uh, texture packs and such like so basically you have your English versions up here 32 and 64 other versions if you do need to and if you do speak a different language they have 32 and 64 bit of pretty much most languages I do believe so you go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and click the 64 bit so it comes up with this you hit save file yeah uh, you can save it to wherever you like this is an example for Firefox but I think when uh, Google Chrome comes down here somewhere so once you've done that, you can go ahead, open it, yeah, if you get this, hit yes, and you're going to get this, you hit install, and then it's pretty much it. So that is WinRAR out of the way. The next thing is you're obviously going to want a skin, I already have one downloaded, but I would highly recommend this website. Once again, uh, it's known as the skin next, if you just google the skin next it will come up, or you can click the link that will be in the description, which is www.minecraftskins.com. So you find the skin on here, uh, you download that. The next thing is you're obviously going to need a texture pack, Now, as I said earlier, this will work with any texture pack, but the one that I really do uh, recommend, as it is very, very similar to the Minecraft textures, is called Faithful 32x32. 32 32. Uh, you cannot actually get the Minecraft uh, original textures anymore, as they are copyright to Minecraft, but I think I have heard of people having a bit of a Google and finding ways of getting them. So. Yep, I highly recommend this website as well, it's minecrafttexturepacks.com, they have a load of different texture packs here, the most popular, and they go up to resolutions of 128 by 128 So, that's the texture packs out of the way, and the main thing that you're going to need for this tutorial, for the 1.8 to work, is you want to come to this website, which will again be in the description, along with all the links I'm using in these videos. This will be in the description, which is the Minecraft 1.8 skin converter. Then you have a .jar which will download the file directly, or a .zip which will have the file that you need which is a .jar inside of that. So basically you just hit download on that, I'm not going to do it as I already have it. And uh, yep, yeah, I believe that is pretty much it, so we can go ahead open, go to our desktop. As you can see I said I already had a skin which is this one here, it doesn't want to open. There we go, that one there. So you are going to need two copies of this skin, so you want to go ahead, uh, I'm just going to do mine on here. So you hit copy and then we're going to paste it. So we have the two copies here. You want to open up your 1.8 skin converter. Shouldn't take too long to load up. He says, there we go. So you want to hit these two dashed lines. 
you want to go to your wherever you saved that skin. You want to open up the first one, hit open, and then hit load skin. Once you've hit load skin, you'll see your skin comes up here. Then you can go ahead and hit convert skin. You'll get another window that's going to come up. I'm going to save it to my desktop, but you want to save it under the name Steve, all lowercase, and then just hit save. And it's been converted, so you have this one here. Then you're going to want to go ahead and select your other one again, like that, so the copy. I don't know if it does work, actually. You may just be able to select the same one because we're going to be calling this in something different. So same thing again, hit convert. File already exists, you wish to overwrite it. Yep. Okay, so it's been converted. Oh, I didn't change the save name. Okay. If I hit con... Uh, God. What is going on? Okay, so maybe we already did that one. So, we just select this skin here. And then you're going to want to name this one Alex. Oops. Alex, again, all lowercase. Hit open. Convert skin. Why is it doing this? Yeah, okay. Overwrite. It's saving it under Steve for some reason. Okay, so maybe we'll go ahead and close that. We can delete one of these. And we'll open up this again, as this may sort out our problem. S because it's maybe confusing this program. So we hit that. That's going to load that. You're going to hit load skin, convert skin. There we go. So we're going to go ahead. Oops. Uh, go to the desktop real quick. And then that's where you put in Alex, all lowercase. Hit save, and it's been converted, as you see we have the two ones right there. So now you're done with that skin, you don't need that one anymore, and that's the 1.7 format. I'm going to go ahead and chuck this down in the bottom right corner, you guys can keep it wherever you like. So now the next step you're going to want to do is navigate to your .minecraft folder, if you already know how to do this, and you can always skip ahead. Windows XP, you can come down here, click run, I'm running Windows 8 with a start menu, that's why I have it there. If you're on Windows 7, I believe you can type roaming in here if you do believe, but the easiest way to do it for all these operating systems is to hold down your Windows button and simply press R. Once you've done that, you can now type in here percent app data percent, as you can see right there. So again, we'll type that again. I'll type it slowly percent app data, and then once again percent, and then hit enter, and you'll get your roaming file like that. So you can go ahead, open up dot Minecraft, uh, navigate to resource packs, and I'm going to need to go ahead and download the texture pack right here. So I'm going to hit download. if I hit it there we go hit download it's just downloading up here not gonna take too long and there we go so now all I'm gonna do oops go away I'm gonna minimize that a sec I'm gonna go to this and I'm gonna drag that out onto my desktop right like that I'm then gonna go ahead this isn't a necessary step I just like to do it just to neat things up I'm gonna extract this to the desktop this shouldn't take too long at all and uh, yeah, so once you have that folder, you can get rid of the WinRAR file. I'm going to delete that one right there. And then you want to go into your resource packs and you're going to want to drag this in to there. So you have your texture pack in here now. You want to then open up that, go into assets, Minecraft, textures, and then you want to find the file that's entity, as you can see right here. Double click on entity and you'll see that you have an Alex and a Steve, and you can see that both of these will be in the 1.8 format. Now, so you have Alex right here. There we go. So you go ahead, drag in the Alex skin. So you should get something like this. Hit replace. Same again with the Steve. Move it in and replace. Now, that is pretty much it. As you can see, now we have the Alex in there. And then we have the Steve right there. So, now we are pretty much done in here. So you can go ahead, hit the X. I'm just going to quickly uh, turn off my internet. You guys do not need to do this. The only reason I am doing this is because I have already bought the game so it would connect to my Minecraft account and use my skin. But we don't want that. So you guys will not need to connect your uh, disconnect your internet if you uh, if you downloaded the game for free or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and load up. Obviously, it's not going to be able to load it. So... Yeah, up, I'm going to go to my 1.8.1 .1 profile. This will work for 1.8 plus anything to do with 1.8. Any Minecraft profile that uses the new skin format. I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to load up. It shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, any minute now. It's going to pop up. Come on. There we go. 
So we can see we have Minecraft 1.8.1. .1. <laughs> And we should be nearly there. Almost. Come on. Come on. We are nearly there. Don't know why it sometimes takes a while to do this. Yeah, we're nearly there. Um, may just be because I'm recording. It doesn't normally take this long. Okay, so we're nearly there. Ah, there we go as you can see I have my texture pack enabled so you're going to want to once you have your minecraft menu open and we go to options go to resource packs if you have a current selected texture pack selected deselect that one and then you want to hit uh, your texture pack where you put your skin into go ahead click done and this is going to take this is basically going to load up the texture pack that you've just selected it may come up not responding but that's just as it's trying to say. So as you can see, we have Faithful selected here. We're just going to go ahead, jump into a world, jump into my test world. And it's maybe a little bit laggy as I am doing a full desktop recording on a small screen. So, and as you can see, it has already worked. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to jump in and do this quickly. As you can see, yeah, I said it would be a bit laggy. But, yep, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that it is has changed the skin it has now worked for 1.8 as you can see 1.8.1 .1 up here so i'm sorry this tutorial took a while to come out but now as you can see it is working and um, why is it come up with a i have no idea i'm gonna quit out of this world just in case if anything does happen go ahead and close out on minecraft so i hope this tutorial helped you guys thank you guys so much for 250 plus subscribers it means so much to me leave a comment if you still have any problems and i will do my best to reply to all of them Thank you for the support on all the other videos and let me know all the problems that you guys are having. I do really appreciate it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and re-enable my internet. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.